Let's look at calculating the correlation coefficient for a set of six points. Here's the six points, the x and the y values of the points. <coughs> Where uh, a correlation coefficient is a measure of how closely those points fit to a line. So I'm going to build an R script to help me here. I'll build uh, the x vector, which uh, uses the content concatenation function c and puts those values together in x. We'll do the same thing to produce a, uh, a y vector. So there we are with the y vector. The correlation function cor will calculate the correlation for us. So now that we've got those in, let's highlight that and run the code. And there we are. We've got a negative correlation of, uh, of about a half. Now it's worth looking at something just real quickly here. Let's plot x and y. And you can't see this plot too well in, in your screen, but there it is. You can kind of see those six points plotted. I'll move it around so you can see them all. And you'll notice that there, that the best line that would fit through those would be some negative line here, and they don't fit too close. Uh, they're a, a bit off. The closer the correlation coefficient is to 1 or minus 1 is the closer the points fit to the line. This is a negative correlation coefficient, so the slope of the line is going to be negative. This is not the slope of the line. It's just a measure of how tightly that fits. And uh, you notice it's quite a ways uh, away from, from negative 1. It's less than a half. And so uh, those, those points are not fitting real closely.